the big Hollywood letdown, agro-terrorism, and has Mark Belling accepted? Find out next on Focus on Diversity, right here, right now. Focus on Diversity with Troy Shaw. Hello, I'm Troy Shaw and welcome to Focus on Diversity. Let's introduce our guest. First we have Robert Miranda. He is the uh, editor of the Milwaukee Spanish Journal. Also we have Christopher Carter. He is president and CEO of CCI. And this week's wild card guest is Kia Cook, she is a reporter with the Community Journal. Let's get busy. Actually, this is kind of celebratory a little bit because, of course, we haven't had a, 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 a lovely young lady on the television program. But uh, We have been actually getting comments about that, so we went out there and found one. So here we go. Let's start off with our very first topic here. Benefits for gay couples. Last week, New Jersey became the third state in the nation to offer civil unions for gay couples. I can see Robert over there. The civil unions which uh, offer the legal benefits but not the title of marriage were granted automatically to hundreds of gay uh, New Jersey couples who had previously been joined in civil unions or married in other states. I mean, so what we're saying, what are we saying here? It's basically it looks like New Jersey is kind of like laxing off on the uh, on, on, on granting marital status. What do you think about that, Robert? Oh, the gay people are coming. The gay <laughs> people are coming. Come on. Give me a break. Well, I, you know, I mean, look at these families an opportunity to live. <laughs> Leave them alone. Why are we constantly making this an issue? Well, I mean, there's a sanctity of marriage. What do you think about that? I mean, there's a, sanct there's a sanctity of marriage. And now a lot of states are realizing that, you know, either they are going to do it or not going to do it. More of them are saying that they're not going to do it. I do believe that the sanctity of marriage is very important and should be kept as is. But at the same time, I do believe that all people deserve rights. So granting civil unions, at least you're getting the same rights that you would if you were married. Well, see, uh, Chris, constantly we're hearing this fight across the country in regards to, uh, you know, whether or not gay couples, civil unions or what have you should have benefits. What would you say that in, for your particular company? I'm putting you on the spot here. Oh, my company. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, I don't have to deal with that issue. Thank goodness. And I have an HR uh, director that deals with that. Uh, marriage to me, and, and I am a Catholic man, so marriage to me is a man and a woman. Um, it is my religious belief. It is also my personal belief. Yet, I also believe I have very uh, uh, several friends who are um, gay men and women that still live in Atlanta, and then they do uh, cohabitate together as a husband and wife type of an aspect. Um, and it's really funny. They don't care about the civil liberties and the unions of being together and having this sanctity of marriage type of BS that everybody's talking about. They just want to be left alone as a couple. They know that they are a couple, they care about each other, and they continue on as a couple. Be that as somebody wants to call them boyfriend, girl, or boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend, whatever the case may be. They believe they are a couple together in their own minds. But what we're talking about here, Robert, what we're listening to talk about here is that the country seemingly has told, the country seems to be homophobic in regards to this kind of thing. I mean, do you ever think we'll move past this and, and all the states will just say, look, you know, uh, Gay couples we'll, can do this. We'll move past it when we move Bush out of office and all of his right-wing neocon who continue to push all of this homophobic, fear-mongering, uh, domestic Wait, agenda. That, that is unfair. Uh, uh, this, this, is, the, but this is the political climate they that. brought in. No, you're saying his, his base did. His base did. And he rode on that base. He rode on these right-wing extreme evangelicals who, on their own, own hypocrisy, continued to push this anti-gay agenda. And then one of their leaders was caught doing it, and he fell from grace. And now everybody's going, ah, the gay people are back. Hey, you know what? We need to just get these, po these, these guys out of power and replace them with some you people with some sense. You never miss a moment to back. Bush. So let's move on to the next topic here. Uh, American Indians to sue prison. American Indian inmates in Maine have sued state prison officials for a second time, claiming that they have been denied access to key religious requirements such as a sweet lodge, powwows, and ceremonial food and 
music. Now, what do you think about that? I mean, it, it, a lot of prisoners just do these kinds of things just to kind of like needle at you. But what do you think about that? I think it is very important. When you look in the prison system, you have you should be able to have the requirements that you need for your religious activities, but whatever they may be. Yeah, they're prisoners. You still have chapels and prisons, so Christians are able to go and worship. So why can't the Indians have the same thing? Yeah, That's very, very important. Very, very good point. Uh, but they're non denominational churches inside of prisons. I thought once you became a prisoner, you basically lost your rights as a human being, other than the fact that you get to eat, sleep, and breathe. Um, you, you've been, you became a burden on society, so they put you into a building that you are now housed with other burdens of society. And I'm not saying that prisoners are good, bad, or otherwise, and they become religious again and they're finding their way and they're trying to help themselves. Yet when you're in there, you have a non-denominational church, and there is somebody that comes in from the outside on a weekly basis, and, and yes, your religion is a little different than, you know, we were talking in one program, you've got Jewish, you've got Christian, you've got Catholic, you've got Buddhist, you've got whatever the case may be, Baptist, and you know, yours is a little bit different in there, so it fits in there, but it is still a religious type of a ceremony. You've got some different aspects that may not even be able to fit within the walls of, like, I believe one of the, the prisoners was looking for some type of a tobacco-ish type of a product so they could smoke it as part of it. It, it can on. get a little outlandish. Come on. You can't you can. smoke marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, but it can get a little outlandish. Prisoners request sometimes go beyond the norm. What are you thinking? Uh, look, you know, in, in a sense, I disagree in part with some of what Chris says because when you look at the prisoners, and especially the prison system, you have the prison system filled with a lot of nonviolent offenders that really shouldn't be in there, mm -hmm. all right? And, you know, in, in the other part, you know, if we're talking about somebody like a Dahmer or Steve Avery or, or some of these wackos that go out He's molesting not children, yet, He's not convicted hey, yet, you know, some of these people, uh, whatever, some of these people <laughs> who have not... Uh, who have uh, uh, molested children, you know, then, you know, I could see uh, them giving some bread and water and putting them in there. But, you know, a majority of those prisoners in there I, I don't really need to be in there. And, and, and we don't need to uh, 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 treat them in a manner that forces them to become bigger and better gladiators when they get out. And when we come back, we'll have our Mark Belling boxing update. Stay with Focus on Diversity. We keep the heat. We'll be right back. Travel accommodations provided by Midwest Airlines, the official airline for Focus on Diversity. We're with American Family. We're with American Family. We're with American Family. Because American Family is with us. American Family Insurance Agents. Live and work right in the community. Right in the neighborhood. So they care about us and the neighborhood. The service is professional. The handling of claims is quick. And the peace of mind is wonderful. We're with American Family. We're with American Family. American Family Insurance. All your protection. Under one roof. American Family Insurance. 